Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Daisy and Poppy's pet. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> giddy up, giddy up. Daisy, Poppy, don't ride your hobby horses on the breakfast table. Oh. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. The twins really like ponies at the moment. Mm. They really want a pet. And ponies are lovely pets. So pretty and cuddly. And they've got long, swishy tails to brush. Daisy and Poppy would so love a pony. Pony! Pony! Goodness me, no! Ponies are ginormous. And Daisy and Poppy are tiny fairies. No pony. <laughs> Maybe the princesses could have another sort of pet. Pet! 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 I can magic them up a harmless, fluffy little pet. Wait a minute. Pets need looking after. Who's going to do all the cleaning up? The twins can. We will. We promise. OK. But please make it a sensible pet, Nanny. Not a dragon or a, or a dinosaur. Of course, Your Majesty. <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, darling. Nanny Plum knows what she's doing. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Here we are, the magical fairy library. Now, let's find a book on pets. Hmm, a tiger. Tiger, tiger. No, too big. Oh, tiger. Hmm. A snake? Snakey, snakey. No, too wriggly. Oh, wiggly snakey. An alligator? Alligator, alligator. No, too many teeth. Oh, alligator. Ah, here we go. The perfect little pet. A hamster. Hamster, hamster. <laughs> Nanny has magicked up for Daisy and Poppy. As long as it's small, I don't care. Ahem. May I present the princess's new pet, Pippin? A rat! No, Your Majesty. Pippin is a lovely little hamster. How sweet! <laughs> Pippin likes you, Daddy. <coughs> Oh, it is cute, isn't it? Cute isn't quite the word I had in mind. <laughs> I think it'd be um, happier if it lived outside. Very well. Back! Back, Pippin! <laughs> They're fine as long as you don't show you're afraid. Back, Pippin! <laughs> Back, Pippin! Back! <laughs> there, Pippin. Welcome to the courtyard, your new home. I hope Pippin won't be bored living here. We'll give Pippin some toys. And hamsters like lots of straw. <laughs> Can we give Pippin something to eat, Nanny? Foodie, foodie. Yes. And a drink. <laughs> Aww. That should make Pippin feel at home. <laughs> The courtyard full of straw. It's for your hamster, Your Majesty. My hamster? <laughs> it's funny. The courtyard looks just like a hamster cage. Yes, very amusing. <laughs> Why does it have to run about so much? Hamsters like running about. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Hot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Pippin's run away. Oh, um, how sad. How terribly sad. Pippin! Pippin! We've lost Pippin. What a dreadful turn of events. Pippin's gone. 
gone forever. Wait, King Thistle. I can get your hamster back. Ah, uh, don't trouble yourself, Ben. It's no trouble. Elves are good at rounding up hamsters, and I'm an elf. <coughs> Ready, Gaston? <coughs> 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 King Thistle, safe and sound. Ah, uh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> Let's close the cage door before Pippin escapes again. <laughs> Does it ever go to sleep? Uh, maybe when it's tired. And how do we make it tired? Let's ask the wise old elf. He knows everything. Hello? Wise old elf speaking. How do you make a hamster tired? Hamster? Oof. The king's pet hamster. We need to make it tired. Ah, I see. What you need is a wheel. A wheel? How will that help? Wait and see. I'll be right over. King Thistle, where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pippin likes you. No oh, charmed, I'm sure. Bring in the wheel. Right ho! Goodness, where's that going to go? It's hideous. <laughs> The things we do for our pets, hey, King Thistle? It's not my pet! Lower the wheel into the hamster cage. Hamster cage? Are you talking about my castle? Put the wheel in the middle of the hamster cage, Mr. Elf. Pippin! Here, Pippin. Pippin like wheel. Strong enough? It'll be fine. Hamsters don't run very fast. Ooh, you've got a fast hamster, haven't you? The wheel's spinning too quickly. You cannot take it, Captain. Is it okay? The wheel's too big to go through the cage door. My castle! Oh dear. Pippin's escaped again. The wheel's heading for the great elf tree. We'll have to warn the elves. Hello? Hello, dear. It's me. Um, do you know what uh, hamsters are? Yes, dear. They're sweet little fluffy creatures. Um, yes. Well, don't panic, but there's a hamster coming your way in an enormous wheel! Oh! <gasps> it's heading back to the little castle! Oh. oh, my goodness, Mr. Elf! We were spared, but a mighty wheel's thundering back from whence it came, and I think it was... <clears throat> There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? The wheel hit the elf tree, but everyone is OK. Hooray! What's the bad news? The wheel is coming back here! Ah! Everyone into the tower! Run for your lives! Yes, King Thistle. Wonderful, isn't it? Your hamster is back home. <gasps> oh, Pippin's tired. You see? The wheel worked. Now we know how much exercise Pippin needs every day. To the elf tree and back. No! Pippin has to go! Oh, But Daisy and Poppy love Pippin. Pippin! I don't want a pet living in my castle. I could magic Pippin into a different kind of pet. A pet that could live outside the castle. <sighs> OK, Nanny. Just do it. The elves 
have mended the hamster cage. I, I, I mean the castle, Your Majesty. Splendid! Let's take a look. What? Nanny! Yes, Your Majesty? Why is there straw in my courtyard? Courtyard? Oh, you mean the feeding bowl. What? Yes, darling. You asked for a pet that could live outside the castle. So we went back to what we all wanted in the first place. A pony! <laughs> oh, lovely. Pip 